Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about TA cloning. TA cloning is also known as uh, rapid cloning or PCR cloning. It is a subcloning technique which can be performed without the uh, use of any restriction enzymes. This is easy and simple method of cloning compared to other traditional subcloning techniques. TA cloning technique is based on the adenine thymine base pairing on different DNA fragments. In this method, PCR product is first generated using a tagged DNA polymerase which adds A overhang to the 3' end of the product and which is then ligated to a, a vector, a linearized vector having T overhangs. So if you look at the uh, overview of the uh, TA cloning procedure, uh, we require a vector, a linearized vector having a T overhang and a PCR product having A overhang. So based on the TA pairing, uh, using a ligase enzyme, we can um, ligate the PCR product to the uh, linearized vector and uh, that can be transformed to a, a competent cells and then can be plated on a suitable media having uh, selectable markers. So th these are some of the uh, vectors uh, which are generally used uh, uh, for the TA cloning. Uh, if you look at the vector, we can see uh, there are selectable markers like ampicillin and uh, Laxed gene uh, that is for uh, blue white screening and uh, there is a multiple cloning sites and the T overhang in the vector is generated uh, using terminal transferase enzyme so that that is required uh, to you know ligate during the ligation that is required uh, to pair with the A overhang of the PCR product. So these are the two uh, different vectors from um, uh, the cloning kits. Uh, one is from Thermo. Uh, I have provided the details in the last slide and the other one is from NEB. So how do we generate uh, PCR product? Um, so for the uh, TA cloning, we need a, a PCR product with a, o a overhang. So for that, we need to use a uh, we can use the uh, tag polymerase, tag DNA polymerase, and uh, do a regular PCR or three, either three steps or two steps. Uh, there is no need of any restriction uh, site introduction into the primer. Uh, general primers can be used, and uh, keeping an additional hold step at the end of the PCR cycle will help in adding the uh, A or rank to the PCR product. So generally, people use uh, 72 degree for 15 minutes uh, at the end of the PCR cycle uh, as a hold step for adding the, the A, A overhang to the, um, the PCR product. So the, the uh, tag polymerase will add single base A to the 3' end of the PCR product. So once the PCR product is uh, generated, either it can be used directly if there are no, um, you know, primer dimer, uh, if you are, uh, if you optimize the PCR condition and if it is producing a single PCR, uh, single band on the gel, then you can directly go with the TA cloning. Uh, if there are multiple bands uh, or if it is a sub optimized or you have a primer dimer, the PCR product uh, need to be uh, purified. So the advantage of doing uh, the PCR purification is you, you get rid of uh, other, you know, the other uh, PCR components from the, uh, from the uh, mixture. So PCR purification. So PCR product can be uh, purified either using gel extraction method or you can use any PCR purification columns. Uh, commercial uh, kits are available uh, to do this. Uh, for uh, for the gel extraction, it depends on the, uh, uh, depending on your uh, size of the PCR product, a suitable uh, percentage gel can be uh, selected. And uh, try to uh, avoid using uh, sodium borate uh, for the agarose gel. Because sodium borate uh, can, can reduce the efficiency of uh, ligation. Use uh, TAE buffer uh, instead of sodium borate and um, and you can uh, gel extract the product. Uh, the PCR product can be gel extracted and uh, can be used for the ligation step. So ligation is generally uh, uh, performed uh, at 22 degrees Celsius uh, for one hour or you can even use uh, overnight at 4 degree. Once the PCR product is ligated to the uh, to the vector, this need to be transformed to a competent cells. So you can use uh, heat shock method for uh, transforming the uh, 
the bacteria cells with a ligated uh, product. So heat shock uh, method generally uses uh, 42 degree for around 30 to 45 seconds and then uh, chill on ice and then um, then culture it for an hour. So the bacteria cells are generally used uh, for this cloning purposes are DHY alpha, JM, JM series and uh, top 10. Uh, please make sure that uh, you use combinant cells for uh, the transformation experiments. Once the uh, transformation is done, the uh, culture need to be grown for one hour. So it depends on uh, the various kits are there, which uh, you know in which makes uh, example the thermocloning kit uses uh, direct uh, uh, direct combinatorial preparation uh, with the proprietary buffers. So if you're following this, uh, n there is no need to incubate uh, the culture after transformation for one hour. But in uh, uh, regular uh, uh, transformation method, we use uh, one hour post transformation culture to generate the uh, particular growth and then we play it on uh, media generally LB agar having a suitable antibiotic so after plating uh, incubate the the plate at uh, 37 degree overnight and next day uh, you can screen the colonies for so this can be done in two ways. If you're using an exgal, you can, uh, you know, pick up the white colonies. So, so that will ha be having the insert. We can do a colony PCR either and pick up the colonies and uh, um, do a colony PCR uh, using the, uh, you can use the, um, if you have a probe based uh, assay, we can um, confirm the insert using that or you can use a N13 primers which are present in the in the vector so that covers the PCR product and the and the vector so and we can run a gel and confirm the the insert size once the positive colonies are selected you can reculture the in uh, a liquid media uh, to an uh, to about an OD of uh, 0 0.6 to 0.8 and then from there uh, 15 percentage or 30 15 to 30 percentage glycerol stock can be prepared and uh, stored at minus 80 for uh, for long-term storage so these are the some of the cloning kits which are available for TA cloning uh, the clone jet PCR cloning kit from thermo uh, NEB's PCR cloning kit and a PGM TEC vector system from Promega thank you hope this video is useful